This is how it all started in 1944. Leaving one's lover for duty in the war was the only reason for an aching heart. However, he was going to face more than just this. The terror of the war changed him as a man. The state of complete emptiness and destruction corrupted his mind. He knew nothing but violence, anger, and trauma. How will he compose himself in front of his fiancée, Nancy? Honey, is that a problem? No, no, I'm completely fine. John questions every day whether Nancy still loves him. He feels isolated and uncertain, building a more stress in his mind. Darling, I have to leave for work now, so I'll see you this afternoon. Alright darling, I'll see you later. I've forgotten She's been acting strange lately. I mean, by acting strange. She's just been very distant, right? Mm -hmm. Wait, wait. Yeah. Hello? Who's this? Hello, John. It's Mary. Are you okay? Uh, I'm not doing too well. Mary, my head's... My head just hurts. I don't know what to do with myself anymore. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. 
bit of ba bad news. I saw Nancy walking with another guy towards your house. John? John? John! Little did John know that whilst all caves and half of broke loose, John, the police gone? were already on their way. The betrayal of Nancy caused John's mind to chatter into pieces. He was blinded by the wounds that slashed at his heart. Unaware of his actions, he had done something unimaginable.